Of course, the United States has been alarmed and concerned about uh, Pakistan for, for some time and its stability and was, was very much alarmed in April of 2009, and some of you may have noticed, the Taliban broke out of the, um, the northwest provinces and entered into uh, Bunair and put it within 25 miles of this giant Tarbella Dam on the Indus. It's sort of like the, um, uh, the, the Hoover Dam, if you thought of uh, losing the Hoover, or the Aswan Dam, for example, in, in Egypt. Uh, this would, uh, any damage to that dam would, would, would cripple Pakistan's uh, hydropower, uh, agriculture, and obviously any control over it would give enormous strategic leverage uh, to, the, to the Taliban. Um, now, Hillary Clinton and the State Department, of course, did respond uh, with, uh, to, to Pakistan's concerns. Uh, we have just recently uh, passed a $7.5 billion five-year aid package. Uh, the largest and most urgent part of that, I wish all of you to be aware, was addressed to those water issues of irrigation, hydropower, and storage. Um, and they've also, of course, been trying to facilitate as much as possible uh, the Indian-Pakistan dialogue on water security. Um, now, whether this is going to be, this is going to leverage other greater capital investments that the Pakistanis have, of course, but whether this is going to be enough for Pakistan, a country where 60% of the people make a living as farmers, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to get by the destabilizing pressures from this food crisis uh, is, is anybody's get, guess. But one bit of there's one bit of encouraging news in this, um, and maybe it seems obvious to people, but um, but for the first time, uh, global water scarcity is being recognized as a vital objective of U.S. national uh, security interests, and is being integrated into the highest level processes at the State Department. Uh, just on March 22nd, World Water Day, uh, Hillary Clinton gave a speech that signaled, in fact, uh, this. I've been speaking to the, the State Department before that, and the process has been ongoing for some time. But um, uh, they, re they do, in fact, get it, uh, which is a, a very important uh, point, uh, that, that the freshwater scarcity is emerging as one of the key driving fulcrums of, of the world uh, geopolitics and creating a whole new calculus of strategic challenges uh, for policymakers.